It is day two of Drake's It's All a Blur concert tonight, and fans have already made it their mission to secure a good spot at KeyBank Center. Our Keelan Berrien is there. He's been there talking to fans. Keelan, the anticipation is building. How are things looking out there right now? Yeah, Claudine, the anticipation is certainly growing out here. Now, bear with me because they are playing music as well, so it might get a little louder. But if photojournalist Franco can just show you guys, I mean, like, Claudine, honestly, look at this. Look at this line and the amount of people that are out here waiting for this concert tonight. Some of these folks have been out here before sunrise. Now, obviously, not everyone been out here before sunrise, but a lot of these folks are out here waiting in line for those gates to open up at 630 so they can secure them a floor spot so they can be next to the stage when the concert is going. I used to dream about a night like this where it's 18,000 of us standing here in Buffalo, New York. Back, back where I'm from, I'm known as like the biggest Drake fan. It's getting serious for these Drake fans. It's just that serious. We're not <laughs> playing around today. Folks are camped at the Key Bank Center, some arriving before sunrise. Ahead of Drake's Wednesday night is all a blur tour. So we got here at 7.45 this morning. Is it that serious? It's yeah, so serious. It then we have those who drove seven hours here after working long hours. I've been a fan since about 09. Just the impact, the, the vulnerability, you know, the, the truthfulness inside his music is something that a lot of people can relate to. In 10 seconds, tell me your top five Drake songs. Oh, man. Nah. Child's Play, Wu-Tang Forever, Three. Feel No Ways, uh, Fire and Desire. Three. One. Survivor. Ah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> With a 10 pack of 10 bits for a snack and a cell phone to keep them entertained, these fans are in line hoping to get a floor spot next to the stage. The concert held at Quebec Center headlines the popular mainstream artist Drake and B-list artist J. Cole. Tuesday's night's first concert brought fans by the thousands. So much so it caught the performer's attention, shared through an Instagram post. I'll expect to be like standing in there for at least two hours-ish. Yeah. Like once we get in, probably a little bit more, but yeah. We oh. go to a lot of concerts, so we're, <laughs> exactly. we're very used to this. <laughs> and even in the happiest of moments, you still can't please everyone. Facebook posts show fans' frustrations with delayed start times. And they play music once we get in there, so we'll be so yeah. excited that we'll We'll be fine. But hopefully this special moment with the cancer survivor fan will make up for it all. I'd like to give you $25,000 just to enjoy your life. Whatever you want to do, you want to come see another show, come see another show. But I love you. I'm so happy to have you. Now you join us back live out again, looking at that crowd once again. We also try to reach out to the Key Bank Center security about uh, what they have to say from last night's concert, but we didn't hear back from them. But we'll have all that news tonight and more coming up at Channel 2 News at 6 o'clock, which is happening right now.